What's up, Team Upcast? Jonathan Upcast here, and it's time for another resort review. This is the video series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we shred it, we explore it, we see what it has to offer, then we come back here and we're gonna give it a score from zero to 100. Now, the way we're gonna get that score is by going over 10 categories. Each category is gonna get a score from zero to 10. Now, zero is not applicable, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. Now, these are the rules we play by. This is just how we're gonna judge these resorts, but it doesn't mean it's a bad ski resort if it gets a bad score. That's why I'm gonna tell you guys who the ski resort is for as well. Now let's jump into today's video, one of the resorts that I learned to snowboard at, Monarch Mountain, after you smash the like button. Now Monarch has an elevation of 11,952 feet, a vertical drop of 1,162 feet, 800 skiable acres, and they get 350 inches, not feet, of snow a year. Now first category, lift prices. How expensive is it to come ski at Monarch Mountain? And being in Colorado and coming in at $94 for the day, that's actually an incredible price. And they also do a bunch of discount options, buy one, get one free, things like that throughout the year, stuff like that. Monarch's always been very good at having past discounts. That's a big reason why when I was younger, we'd always go to Monarch Mountain. So when it came to lift prices, I'd give them a six for the lift prices. They have just always have been awesome with their prices. Side note, if you have the A Basin season pass, you can also go ride at Monarch for five days, which is really cool. Now lodging, ski in, ski out. You want to sleep on the mountain well you can't monarch doesn't offer lodging so they get a zero for lodging now ease of access how easy is it to get to monarch mountain well if you drove from colorado springs you're looking at a two hour and 30 minute drive so you can also fly into colorado springs and have that similar drive but once you get closer to monarch it does kind of cut down to a single lane there is monarch pass it is a windy kind of narrow pass it's a little sketchy and that is why for ease of access i gave them a five for ease of access it's kind of typical for a colorado mountain but uh it's you know, we could get a lot of snow in that area. Now I know what you're wondering, Jonathan, why did you grow up riding Monarch Mountain? Well, we'll get to that in this video, but you guys should also go check out resortskimaps.com because we have a goal to ride every resort in the United States and you guys can track that by going to resortskimaps.com. Now this is a resort map of every resort in the United States. Every single green guy, you can click on them and watch the video there because that's where we have gone. So you can see all of our videos at that ski resort as well as the other ones nearby it. Now, if you click on a red guy, nothing's gonna pop up because we haven't been there yet. So click the top right-hand corner. You can see our schedule for the upcoming ski season. That way, if you know we're coming to your ski resort, you can take time off for of work, skip school, do whatever you need to do to show up at the mountain the same time as us so we can rip and shred with you guys because we absolutely love riding with the locals. The locals not only make the vlogs better, but they make the resort review better as well because you guys are showing us all the cool places to ride, where to go, things like that. So thank you to all the locals that do show up and show us around. You guys are incredible, but also guys, check out resortskimaps.com. It is the coolest place to plan any trip, anything you want to do with skiing and snowboarding. Check out all the resorts in the United States. You can do that at Resort Ski Maps. Com. Now lifts, chairlifts, we gotta get up the mountain. And sadly, Monarch can really use some chairlift upgrades. They have a lot of old two-seater lifts, five lifts in total. I remember when I was little, I used to think it was fun to bounce the lifts, which was sketchy looking back at it. But I also jumped off the chairlift at Monarch. I don't recommend doing that, kids. I got my pass pulled for the day for doing that. But Monarch is a place that I've jumped off the chairlift, which was, I did that when I was like 12. Yeah, I got big trouble. But they also have two surface lifts for the beginners out there. So Monarch will get you up the mountain for sure, but it's just not fancy, there's no gondola no chalets, anything like that. So when it came to lifts, I gave them a three for the lifts. Now runs, we got up the mountain, we gotta get down them and how are Monarch runs. With 67 trails, there's plenty of options to ride from kind of trees to mountains, kind of bowl feeling. They're pretty fun runs. You can find ungroomed terrain, you can find groomed terrain at Monarch. If you do the cat tour that they offer, you can actually get a whole new world of terrain, which would maybe bump this score. But for the average person that's just showing up for the day, you're gonna have an incredible time. You're gonna find a lot of steep little shoots to ride, things like that. So I give them a six when it comes to runs. Now, Terrain Park, Monarch is the place that I saw the first person do a 360 on a big jump, and I was like, I wanna do that, oh my gosh. Monarch's Park is super fun. They don't make any snow, so they're kinda limited to the snow that they get. And the jumps they build are a little sketchy, but their rails are always on point. And so it's a fun park. I always have a good time when I ride at Monarch. They do their best with what they got. I think they call it Steel City as well. So when it comes to park, I gave them a four for the park. It's just the, it's hard to give them a four because it is the place that got me into park riding, and I absolutely love riding the park park, but it is what it is. Now 
Now, if you want everyone to know your part, Team Muckhouse, or just want to support the dream, consider signing an Evolution sticker. We do have a ski version for all the skiers out there. But you grab the sticker, throw it on the side of your helmet, let everyone know you are part of Team Muckhouse, and then I can say what up to you guys on the mountain. Yo, little dude, that is a sick sticker. What's up? That's the sickest sticker. What's your name? As well as it supports the dream, it's how we fund all this traveling. Everything we do is you guys snagging the merch, whether it's the hats, the stickers, any of it, guys. All of our merch, guys, is linked down below, and you can do snag a tag on my Instagram, and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in my vlogs. Now, food, you're gonna get hungry, you're gonna wanna eat on the mountain, and Monarch has five options for you to get food from the coffee shop to the bars, things like that. So, there's plenty of options to get food, but it is very traditional, typical mountain, like lodge food. So, I gave them a five when it comes to food. Now, views and scenery, how sick are the views at Monarch? And they've never, like, blown in my mind, I've never been like, do Monarch's views, or when I'm at Monarch, I'm never like, oh, this place has the views. It's still in Colorado, still has incredible views, so I did give it a six when it comes to views and scenery. Now employees, we don't cover snow conditions because East Coast, Midwest, West Coast, it varies completely. Also time of the year, early season, delayed season, snow conditions, it varies. But employees can absolutely ruin your day in the mountain like we had at Keystone. So you can check out the Keystone incident right here. Or they can absolutely make your day in the mountain. So many employees have given us an incredible experience on the mountain. And when it has come to Monarch over the 20-ish times that I've gone to Monarch Mountain, they're netting at like a five, an average. No one's ever made my day or broke my day. It's been pretty fair. Even when I jumped up the lift and got my pass pulled, those dudes were so rad and like, come on, man, you can't be jumping off the lift and stuff like that. So, uh, and the employees are getting a five. Now the last category, the would I go back factor, because if I want to go back to ski resort, why would I recommend it to you guys? And this one gets a little bit of a higher score because I learned to snowboard on this mountain. This one in Ski Cooper were the two that I learned how to make my S turn, start around park, all that kind of stuff. So when it comes to would I go back, I give them a 10 on the would I go back. Monarch still holds the true like ski resort vibe. You know, they're getting better, they're improving so much. It doesn't feel like a corporation when you're there though. And that's so special. And that's a big reason why I would also go back to Monarch because I get to go blast to the past, like what it felt like to ride ski resorts before these mega corporations came in and kicked down the door. Okay, so I know what you're wondering. What is Monarch's score from zero to 100? They got a score of <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> A 50, an average score for, I wouldn't say it's an average ski resort, but that's the score they got. But what I would say who Monarch Mountain is for is for the intermediate skier or snowboard, the person that's ready to go to the next level. Like I would highly recommend riding a resort like this a lot before you then go to like a Vail or go to like a Jackson Hole. This resort will kind of get you ready, kind of get you prepared for the next level of ski resorts. But also if you're a beginner, there is so many beginner options here at Monarch to get you sick at snowboarding. So with that Team Upcast, thank you so much for skiing and snowboarding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this snowboard channel.